Hey everyone, it's me again, you know, that gremlin on the internet. <laughs> um, a little bit different, I'm just figured I'd catch you all up on what's been going on. I don't have a review or anything like that. Um, so first off, how are you all doing? Let me know in the comments down below and, you know, hit me up if you ever want to chat or anything like that. Um, I'm sometimes nice. Um, first off as well, a huge thank you. So we released Streetlights last month and, um, you know, <laughs> crazy times. A lot of creepy people out there <laughs> with wild imaginations, but, um, we did release it. It's had well and truly over 3,000 um, reads, but in terms of unique reads, we've hit just over 1,000, I believe, of unique readers, which is absolutely insane. Like, if everyone who read that came over and subscribed to my YouTube, oh my gosh. <laughs> but Streetlights is out. Um, let me know, have you been reading it? If not, link down below. Um, it's a fun little skater comic thing sort of for kids based on 90s nostalgia, but at the same time, um, anyone can enjoy it. So hit that up, check it out. Uh, a lot of hard work's gone into it. Um, a lot of empty wallets, well, my empty wallet, which is always empty, has gone into it. And um, yeah, I'm very proud of what we've done so far, and I'm excited for what will continue to come through in the future. In terms of Crane City's Gargoyle, I should have some news for everyone on that one soon. I hate stringing you all along, but um, it's just, it's a complicated book. Um, and you guys will see when it comes out how much love and care went into this story. Um, it's, it's very complicated, so thank you so much for your patience on that one. But in the meantime, Streetlights is out. Um, other than that, I've kind of been keeping another secret from you guys. Um, as you all know, I, I, I write, I sing, I fight, I play guitar poorly, but I play. And, you know, like, this is what I do. Um, I, I keep myself busy. Um, but, um, you know, I do these comic books. And if you watched my tutorial videos on how to make a comic, you will have seen some very, very embarrassing <laughs> panel layouts. Well, they're not embarrassing, but they're, they're the limit of my ability. Um, and I feel like if I'm going to be the best comic book creator in the world, and I'm on the way there, let's be real, but if that's my goal, um, not just best writer, but best comic book creator and best writer, you know, I'm already like top 1%, let's be honest with each other, right? No objections? Didn't hear any, so I'll take it as a win. But if that's where I want to be, and that's where my mindset's at, I need to get better at a few different skills that I don't currently possess. Um, mostly drawing. So over the last couple of weeks, and I'm such a busy person that when I say couple of weeks, really in about three hours <laughs> that I've had spare in the last two weeks or so, I've dusted off a drawing tablet that a friend of mine gave to me before he moved away to another country. Um, and I finally configured it <laughs> to my crazy computer setup and decided to crack down and learn how to draw. So this is insanely difficult and I'm basically doing this on my own. I didn't tell anyone. I just, I was frustrated and I thought if I'm going to be able to do, make, make the best comics ever, I need to be able to be better for the artists working with. I need to be able to collaborate with them better. Um, so I'll show you some pictures. You've probably already seen them flash by on the screen of just how terrible I am. The best I can do is a stick figure and stolen clip art. Um, that's, that's how I've done it for forever. Um, drawing is something that my hands are not capable of learning, or at least I thought. And then I, I saw a YouTube video that wasn't, it was clickbaity, et cetera. Um, but of the 10 minutes of random talking, about 30 seconds of it really stuck with me to do with flow and shapes. And it sort of sparked that part of my brain. And I finally felt like I understood drawing a little bit. And then I found a few channels that do sort of daily drawing exercises, etc. And using my understanding of flow and shapes and lines, I've sort of, um, you know, sat there for three hours 
um, and sort of followed along. And in that time, I've sort of made some improvements. So you would have seen the stick figures before. That's sort of the best of my ability. And then I'll show you some gradual uh, improvements. I sort of started trying to draw box people and follow lines. And then I tried to draw my hand from reference, which looks awful, but it's way better than a straight stick line. Um, and then I sort of decided to sort of follow along. So if you've seen the channels and that I'm using, and I'm not going to sort of link them down below yet, um, but you will notice these look very similar. Um, it's because I'm referencing them. I'm copying what they're drawing, but I'm drawing it myself on my screen uh, for the most part. And then I'm trying my own things. So you can see here three hours of going from stick figures and no concept to this. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if this, the whole point is if this means I can draw my panels better and my ideas for panels and character designs or shapes or anything, anything is a step towards making a better comic and making my teamwork with artists better. And if I make their job better, I'm going to get better panels. Um, so that's what I've been doing this last couple of days, really. Well, it's been about two weeks, but really it's like a couple of hours because I'm so busy um, between everything else in my life. But that's that's my new goal. And I'm sharing it with you guys because I suck at it. And I think it's important to suck at things and suck at them publicly because some of you guys probably suck at things too and you might be too embarrassed to share or anything like that. And if you don't share it, you might not improve. Um, but with that being said, I'm open to advice and learning resources etc and if you guys want to like jump into discord and like draw together and stuff like and sh like show me where i'm going wrong and give me advice please 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 we can do that um but that's that's what i just wanted to chat about is what i've been up to um so i'll just rephrase jump down and read street lights if you haven't um new issues every friday australia it's friday so like thursdays for most of you um it's a fun comic. Let me know what you think of it down below. Um, other than that, um, I'm, you know, Crane City's Gargoyle is, there's stuff happening in the background. It's all good. Um, there will be a lot more Crane City stuff in the near future. And I'm taking the plunge and trying to learn how to draw and get better at that um, so I can be a better comic book creator and just a better creative person in general. And with that being said... <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> I'm running out. These comics, like paying artists is expensive. So any support, like, like subscribe, throw me donations, whatever you want to do. Um, my commissions are open for writing as well. So if you've got something and you need help writing it, hit me up. I'm kind of desperate now. <laughs> but I love you guys and girls and everything in between. If you stop by, you know, I've got gotcha. you. So peace out. Have fun. Don't be afraid to suck in public. Um, no, actually, I meant... Yeah, I'm just going to leave that that way. Just, bye, guys.